represented by a vertical line. And this is a vertical line that goes right up to God. All right? And this line <clears throat> is called eternal time, in which there is no time. There is no, there's nothing but one. There's only oneness, okay? So everything in eternal time has already been taken care of. Carl Jung said at the same moment that you are a protagonist in your own life and you're making choices, at the very same moment, you're also the spear carrier or the extra in a much larger drama. You are all, he said, doomed to make choices. Now, you want to talk about a paradox, all right? You're doomed, that means it's all taken care of, and within that sense of being doomed, you're making choices. So now we've got this line going straight up, representing eternal time. So my being here right now was already handled. It was handled the moment of my conception. <laughs> and it's... But the point where this line crosses this line and that cross is made, at that very point is where you can see both times operating at the same moment. You can literally see that you are making choices and they're already taken care of, everything is taken care of for you. And so what Deepak and Eckhart have been saying is there is no need to worry about anything. It's all just taken care of. And even your worry is a part of the eternal time thing here. And here was the conclusion. This was from a book called To Know We Are Loved by Rashad Field. Do you know Rashad Field? Do you know that man? <clears throat> He's still alive. He's like the... <laughs> to Know We Are Loved. He said, and this, uh, this is the one I want you to walk out of here with and really think about. Your conception and your death are happening at exactly the same time. It's the same experience. When you get that, you can get back and you can see yourself making all of these decisions, but you can also see that it's all handled for you. And in eternal time, there's no opposite, which means there's no past and there's no future. There's only... <laughs> Okay, so I, I'm going to conclude now uh, this evening with just three simple observations out of this whole experience. The first is, every event is a conspiracy of the total universe. <laughs> so go with the flow, okay? <laughs> Second is that love actually does heal, and there's a biological reason why it heals. It, it creates what is called limbic resonance in your brain, and it starts self-repair mechanisms, what in medicine we call homeostasis. It takes you back to your original state, which is well-being. And the third is, the love he was speaking for, is really so well articulated in the teaching of Nisargadatta Maharaj, whom who you introduced me I to introduced and became my himself. teacher, absolutely. And he says, my love radiates from me like light from a bonfire, focused on none and denied to none. So good night and thank you. Good night. Good night.